Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner again, and I am back with video number two today. <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm going to get this uh, uploaded today anyway, um, with some vintage junk journal starter kits, kind of embellishment kits. Um, I am going to, I have eight of these available, and I'm going to show you the elements of them. I'm going to start with the fabrics. Um, there's a piece of this kind of a taupey colored raw silk fabric. There's a piece of some muslin and this is already um, tea stain kind of color. This rips really good with the um, with the frayed edges. There is a piece of this fillet um, fillet type lace in an ecru color. There's a piece of crochet trim or lace. It's probably about six inches wide, maybe 11 or 12 inches uh, long in a tan color. There's a piece of this embroidered net lace, good for making um, fabric flips in your junk journals. There's a piece of um, burlap trim and this has um, wire in the edges but you can pull the wire out and just you're left with the the burlap there is a vintage um, applique this one has some pearls in it a few pearls in it and it's that um, tea stain kind of color the kit has two square doilies for making pockets. This one is very vintage and stained and tattered. Um, that, and this one with uh, some more delicate, lightweight, has these little bumpy, bumpy areas. These are great for making pockets or tuck spots. Um, <clears throat> it also has three of these little appliques that have a few beads and see whoop oh, there goes a the cat hi marble he's going to his bed on the corner of my table over there um, three of these little appliques that have gold thread in them They're kind of a cream color these two appliques here and where's the other one? There should be two of these. There it is. Um, two of these small, heavily beaded uh, appliques with the flesh-colored uh, flesh sequins on them. So there's two of those. There is a length of this pom-pom. Um, I think it's called onion trim in a brown, brown and tan color. Wait a minute. There we go. So there's a piece of that. Go at the bottom of maybe the front or some pages. There is also a grab bag of, and this is a grab bag of vintage trims and small um, doilies. I'll show you this one. They're all they're all different but similar um, for the doilies in this one. There's a few of, of these. There's some of these um, spidery kind of ones. There's some of the square ones that were in my doily video today and some oops there's some of these smaller ones in every grab bag there is a section of tatting pretty tatted trim 
this is a part that's different in all the grab bags, but similar. Uh, vintage trims. Got this little one. This um, corded, flesh colored one. This vintage, um, another corded one. It's quite a bit. This one looks like. Uh, it's not crochet, but maybe a bobbin lace in white. Got this unusual one here. This cream-colored double-sided one. This really, really tiny, delicate one. I like using that at the top of tags. This one here. It's a grab bag of all of the the vintage trims that I that I have right now. And Lord knows I have a lot. I only scratch the surface with these um, these kits. That one's really pretty. That one dyes um, coffee stains really well. Looks really cool when it's coffee stained. This lace. Here's looks like a Valencian lace here, French lace. There's a little bit wider one. Another, another lace. Here's another of the this one is a cream color. The other one was a little bit darker, that really, really fine, delicate. Nice and this one here that could be could run ribbon through it. So that's the lace grab bag, lace and doily grab bag part of the kit. Um, each kit has a selection of oh I didn't I'm not gonna take these out of buttons and pearls. Maybe I should because that is weird. Let me find something to put it in. Oh, oh here we go. This will work. Um, at the auction last weekend, I mentioned that I was going to go to the auction. I did buy stuff, of course. Um, and part of that is, you see right now, hold on, let me come out for a second. And I'll show you what I bought at the auction. Oh my goodness, this is probably eight pounds of buttons. You can see how deep this container is. There's another container here, another container here, and all of these vintage buttons. So I will be selling some of these in, in small grab bags. If anybody's interested in buttons, let me know because. That's a buckle. Some of them are on cards still. Lots of cool stuff in here. So anyway, um, the grab bag of buttons in these kits comes from that. And there's also um, some, some pearls in there. And there's also some of those. I got some more of those teeny tiny little... Oops. Teeny tiny little... Um, pearl buttons. So there's quite a few of those in here too. So this is a grab bag. It'll be some mixture of buttons in this kit. Um, the paper elements in this kit. Um, there's some of this vintage vintage uh, dictionary paper. It's a uh, Double side, double page of that. Um, this is a double page from a um, golden children's encyclopedia from the, I think this was the 50s as well. That's some, some nice illustrations. All of these will be different, but they're from the same books. Um, and most of these I got last weekend when I was thrifting. Some music paper. This is a large double-sided, so if you wanted to cut it, cut it here, you'll have two different 
sheets. Or actually, yeah, cut it here. You'll have two different um, pages. Um, another songbook. This one's from the 70s. With the torn edges. A page from the Audubon book. This one is a two-page spread from the Audubon book that I have. A, and, and unfortunately this will have to be folded because I don't have a envelope em, envelopes on hand right now that will fit it. But this, this is that vintage wallpaper that I got at the thrift store last weekend. Really pretty floral uh, rose design. So a piece of that wallpaper. Also a set of each of the flash cards that I showed in a couple of videos ago. Um, one of each of the sets. You've got some words, some letters, some numbers, some multiplication or math, math ones, ones that teach you currency, ones that teach you how to tell, oops, tell time. And it's another math one, so a set of, I think that was seven flashcards in different sizes to make tags with. Um, it will have one each of, uh, and this will be different in each one, one of the Hummel uh, postcards. This is a reprint of the, the front side of the Hummel and one of the uh, floral ones. And also... As I was going through some stuff lately, I actually found some more that I act I have in my own stash. I forgot I had them. Um, so there's a bunch. I have a bunch of vintage postcards, all with floral, different floral designs. So I'm going to be scanning these, and there may be a couple more of uh, a couple of these in the kits as well. I just need to get them scanned and, and printed. So there'll be more than two uh, of the postcards. And then I have some vintage playing cards. Uh, three different playing cards. This one has the, um, what bird is that that's yellow? I keep wanting to say chickadee, but I don't think so. Anyway, a bird one. Uh, this one has a farm scene on the front and then this one has a pretty lady out for a stroll with her parasol and then also in this kit I have been having so much fun making tags will be two of the decorated tags that I've been working on lately these are all different there this is about the size of the ones that I have done and they'll have all different designs. They have um, fabrics and um, most of them, well this one doesn't, but most of them have a sewn or an image on the front and some laces all over it. A collage of laces and the back is for journaling. So that is the Vintage Junk Journal Starter Embellishment Kit. That's a mouthful. Um, that I have available right now that I've put together. Um, these are $25 a piece. Um, that does not include shipping. Uh, so if you're interested in the kits or any of the doilies in my last video, the instructions on how to order are in the description box down below. Um, as I said before, I may have to go out this morning. Uh, so I will try to respond to everybody as soon as I get home. Uh, thanks and bye for now.